Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? If you could please bring up the site plan. Do you need me to recite my name and address again? You're fine. Yes, I had a few questions regarding the site plan. Uh, you said that, that four shrubs and one hundred green tree would be planted for every one hundred feet of sidage or fencing. Along with fencing, um, the standard is five small trees, mm -hmm. like a crepe myrtle or dogwood, mm -hmm. uh, understory cut tree, um, and one canopy tree, such as a live oak. And what would be the dimensions, once again? That's per 100 linear feet. I mean, of the lot, of the fencing, per 100, say per 100 feet, but I'm asking how many 100 feet sections are there? Uh, the property is 550 feet deep. And the width of? 153. 153. And what would the fence be? Would it be that black felt, or are we talking like a wooden fence you can see? Through? We're specifying a solid, opaque fence. Um, it's typically a wooden fence that's solid, or a vinyl fence, like vinyl mm -hmm. panels, not a chain link with felt or anything like that. If the neighboring properties wanted to possibly improve that buffer zone, create more of a natural look as opposed to one tree every, what is it, 12 feet? Right. If we can put bushes or something, or like, just make it look a little better so we just don't see in between trees be able to make fence? Well, the fence will be on the property line, and the trees are required on the okay. development side. Okay, so that wouldn't to be a low fence. No with that. And um, another question with the retention pond, how far is it away from either road okay. None and the private road? Right. None of the engineering has been done on this. The exact sizes, dimensions, capacities of the detention ponds have not been calculated. Mm -hmm. Those are approximate locations where it's likely to go. Mm -hmm. um, but the site plan is at scale. You see a 10 foot buffer that is drawn through there. The retention pond encroaches into it. The That area of the development has to be incorporated into their landscape plan. Would this be fencing around that retention pond as well? Um, if it is meets the slope requirement that requires fencing, then yes. My preference is not to design it that way. Well, I would at least like a short fence because just so you can deter someone from doing something stupid. And we, I went to college, we often see the stuff, and we see a big old pond. You know what I mean? Well, I think this will be largely hidden from view. There's going to be a lot of landscaping and or berming <coughs> between the ponds and either road. Well, one of my concerns is because of the soils that are present in this area, the sandy soils, there could be potential undercutting. And that could affect the road, either road or the roadway. <coughs> and all that has to be engineered, and the drainage will have to outfall appropriately, mm -hmm. um, back probably into the new pipe along either road. So it's still something to be planned and still work on. Yes, it has to meet all the engineering requirements, regardless of what it's owned or what gets built. Those rules are absolutes. Now, one of the things mentioned was traffic, and also another thing you mentioned was the that the houses would be for set. Well, the economy changes, everything changes, and so therefore there's still the potential if this is passed for these houses to be rent, whether to be rented whether they want to or not. My neighbor, who lives just across the street from me, had his house for sale for eight months and just now sold it, and then they couldn't get it to someone else, so it was rented out. So renting will probably happen in this location. And another thing that I'm concerned about is the homeowners association. This is a two-acre area for approximately 24, 25 people to live in, potentially. and they could potentially create a lot of noise or potentially impact the surrounding neighborhood. And what in, what representatives would be from the surrounding neighborhood within that homeowners association? Um, if the developer wants to open that up to surrounding properties, they can do that. But that's not a, a common thing that you see. So this would be, once again, another sequestering matter. That area would be completely isolated from the surrounding neighborhood. That's what they choose to do. That's what they can do. So, therein lies the problem. Once again, another, just an isolated area of two acres. 
and it sets the precedence for this in other locations around the city. And if renting does take place because houses are not sold, there are already houses for rent in Quail Rise. There are six houses for rent in Quail Rise, so why do we need to put eight in this new location where they can just simply go to Quail Rise and rent other rent a house of similar size on a similar size lot? Are there any questions for the speaker from the commissioners? Uh, thank you. Thank you.